Hi, I'm DJ Shears. I'm Professor E. This is Six. And this is a robot program. In this episode, we'll teach you how to connect to your Revolution 6 robot and to get it moving. Let's go to the studio and see how it's done. In this episode, we're going to show you how to connect to your 6 and then make it move. The first thing we want to do is make sure that 6 is fully charged before we want to connect and then actually make it move. You got it. So your battery charger should be connected, or at least has been recently. So disconnect that by grabbing the wire and the cable with your thumb and pulling it and separating it. Good. So we never want to tug on just the wires. We want to use our thumb and our finger and, and wiggle it out gently. You got it. Now we're going to flip our robot over. And well, first we have to turn them on. So let's turn them on first. And let's flip our robot over. Wait for them to boot up, and we'll go to our computer, and let's connect to the Wi-Fi of the robot. And we're going to do that by locating it in the Wi-Fi list, and your EZB is going to have a different name dependent on what version you have, and also it's going to have a bunch of weird letters in it. That's an identifier for just your, your EZB. So locate EZB V4, and then select it, and click Connect. You're going to lose the connection to the internet when you do this, but that's okay because we're just going to be connecting directly to the robot. Now we're going to load up Easy Builder, which you've already installed in the last episode where we showed you how to put the thing together. It's going to ask you if you want to go to school. There's two ways to load the 6 project. Like you saw in the last episode, we can select 6 from this menu or we can click skip. We can choose example projects and locate 6 in the list and load it up. And we don't want to see how to put the robot together. We've already done that. And there's our six project. Arrange the controls here. There we go. So now we have all of the different controls that six is going to be able to use, but they don't do anything until we connect to it. In the connection box, we can click that connect button and stand back because six is going to do his little initialization jump. Here we go. Oh, look at that. He's ready to go. <laughs> That's awesome. So Six stood up, and this is his initialization pose. This is when you first connect to him, and he's ready to start running. You can see in the camera, there's, our, there's Andreas, video guy Andreas, the cameraman. And of course, you can see in real time that the camera is working. Now, we can start exploring the software and getting the robot to do different things. We can use the auto positioner. I can click in this black area. And I can use the arrow keys now to make the robot start walking. Or I can make him walk backwards and turn and turn. Pretty neat, isn't it? That's so neat. So because he's a hexapod, even though he has six legs, he can be stable on only three. That's right. So let's look at the auto positioner here through the list and we have all of these different actions that the robot can do. Let's choose one of these actions. Let's select rock back and forth. This is one of my okay. favorites. Okay. And I'll click execute. So this was made by a community member in the Easy Robot community and he uploaded it to us and we added it to the project. It's really neat. So if our viewers make something really cool, they could also upload it. You got it. There's other things we can get the robot to do. For example, we can have them wave. I we'll, love this one. We'll click execute. Friendly hexapod. Very friendly. And we have the soundboard. In the soundboard, we can click play on any of these. Let's choose the dance theme here. And the robot will start executing a dance routine. And we'll click stop on that dance routine. Other things we can do while we're in here is we can click on the microphone and I can record my voice. I can record my voice. And it comes out of the robot. And we can play it back. I can record my voice. Now you're going to want to experiment with all of the different things that Six can do. And one of the things that you can really start doing is visiting the RoboScratch interface. So let's select RoboScratch from the file menu. And here you have on the left side all these different things you can get Six to do. Make them walk, make them turn, even make them speak and say different, uh, different uh, commands. So let's select 
forward, and we can have the robot walk, say, forward for, let's say, two and a half seconds, and then we can have the robot um, speak, we'll, ch we'll choose say, and we'll choose say wait, because wait means wait till the, com the command is completed before it continues, and we'll have the robot say, I am a six robot. And then we can have the robot do a quick little dance and wave goodbye. So let's choose action. And it's action wait, which means it'll wait till the action is completed before it uh, continues on. So we'll see the whole dance. We'll see the whole dance and we'll choose, let's choose wave dance rather than just wave. We can push the start button and run our little program. So each step that he's executing is highlighted as it goes through the program. You can also click the source code button and view the code that you just generated. RoboScratch is going to be a lot of fun for you to learn how to make Ro6 do different things and experiment with making him talk, dance, and, well, get creative. Lastly, we can use 6's camera to track colors. Choose the first desktop, locate the camera device, and choose tracking and choose color, we're going to do color tracking. Six's default project is already set up to move his servos to track the color red. So I'll move him around. Now you're going to want no bright light behind you. You want to be dimmer behind you than in front. That's why I turned it around so that you don't get the lights from the studio. And I'm using this football. And as you can see on the screen, he's tracking the color back and forth. So you want to find something bright red. That's right, something red in your house. You're not going to want to wear red clothing as well, or even orange. So if Professor E, <laughs> it would track you quite well. Let's, let's try it. Let's put you in front of the robot. And so track, track my yeah, movement. Stand back a little bit to get some brightness in there. There oh, you there go. There we go. See, see oh, six, six is seeing your, your clothing, and it's considering it to be somewhat red. And of course, we can bring it back here to the, to the ball, and he will track the ball. So he's always turning to face the color that he's tracking. That's right. Now, don't forget to turn color tracking off when you're done playing with the color tracking by deselecting the checkbox. Or else you might have some unintended consequences in your next program. <laughs> you got it. In this episode, we showed you how to connect to your Revolution 6 robot. The first thing you're going to do is unplug your freshly charged robot. Turn on 6 using the control underneath. Once you've turned on 6, you'll see a Wi-Fi connection come up on your computer called EZB. You're going to ignore the extra numbers or letters that you see at the end, and you're going to connect to that signal. Once you open the EZ Builder software, click Connect on the blue Connect button. You can then explore all of the different auto position controls that are available to you for your six robot. You can make him wave, you can make him dance, and you can even control him manually using the arrow keys. If you're looking for a challenge, hop on over to RoboScratch and try building your own program. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you next time. What letters are always at the start of the Wi-Fi connection name? What is the minimum number of legs that six needs for balance? What is the name of the control panel used to execute pre-built commands? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.